어? What is going on YouTube? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I started putting frets in this old Martin guitar. This is a Dan Tominski HD28 Martin. Uh, it's number... Well, I don't know where the number is. I know what... I used to know what the number... Well, they don't make these anymore. But I did know what the number in that one was. I can't remember it now. I think I've got it wrote down in the case or somewhere. I don't know what number it is. Anyways, they, quit, they don't make them anymore. They're very expensive guitar. And I'm fretting it up from the uh, seventh fret to the nut. I knocked the nut out of it. And I've already got, what, three, six frets, six, five frets in it. And I thought, you know, this would be a good time to make a video and show you guys how maybe you could install new frets in your guitar if you don't have the tools you should have. Now, I've had tang nippers. I've had fret pullers. I finally found that new pair of fret pullers. I couldn't find them. Now I don't need them, man. I needed them when I was trying to pull frets with these. <laughs> but anyways, uh, one of you, uh, I think I can probably tell you his name, Rattle Can Guitar Restoration, sent me a, a set of tang nippers. And, and one of you said, when Stu Mac got them back in stock, that I would have a set. That guy must have died or something, I guess. I don't know. I uh, keep thinking I'll order a set if they ever get them in stock. I don't know if they've got them in stock yet or not. I haven't looked for a long time. But uh, I'm going to show you the way I do it without having that stuff. That's uh, really not necessarily essential to have, but it sure makes the job a lot easier. So come on over. We'll get into it. I'll show you the way, the poor man's way of doing it, so to speak. All right. Now you are going to hear fans and AC running and kicking on and off. Well, the fan won't. The AC mic. That's what you hear in the background. It's has been just super hot here. All right. There's my fret wire. Try to zoom the camera out enough so you guys can see what's going on, what's happening. Okay. The way I first thing I want to do is measure. I just lay the fret in the fret slot. Let a tiny bit stick out on both sides. Just enough to sand away or grind away. Clip him off. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. <laughs> I gotta get over here in the light. I left the camera kind of zoomed out so I can show you this. This guitar's got binding, okay? So, you know, a lot of guitars you can look at from, from the side, either side, and you can see the tang. Well, this guitar, it doesn't really have binding. I don't know, I can't remember. Yeah, it does have binding. Or maybe it's just the way the fretboard's cut. I, I think that's what it is. Anyways, you cannot see the tang in this guitar because of that binding, okay? So what I got to do, I, I need tang nippers in the worst way, man. Anybody want to send a set of those? <laughs> if you have an extra set laying around. What you want to do is take your fret wire cutters you have to have some tools <laughs> you know if you don't have tang nippers this is the next best best thing and if you can see that i've got a hold of the tang on that fret i think yeah yes i do have i got a hold of the tang uh if you can see it just enough barely to wait to cut off of the end so it doesn't cut through the binding there it takes great force sometimes to clip that off this is Evo fret wire and it is extremely hard, man. Then uh, you can clip it again. Here's, let me show you what it looks like so you'll know. Let's forget about the camera running. See what it did to it? Now I'm just going to take pliers and wiggle that a little bit. It will come right off. Usually it doesn't take near that long. <laughs> when the camera comes on, everything changes. There's a song about that. And then do the other side. Same thing on the other side. Just get a hold of the very end of the tang with your fret wire cutters. See what I mean? I think that camera's focusing. And uh, apply great force. Now that one came pretty easy. It's pretty easy with those, but 
tang nippers are way, way better. Now just break that off and throw it away. All right. This fret's ready to install. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you this without blocking your view. I'll just hold the fret down in there. Start tapping it in on one end. And as you come across, you know, come about halfway, keep that side tapped in. And don't beat the shit out of your guitar. I've said that a hundred times. You don't beat the shit out of it. Tap it, man. I need to move this up here. She already did that. Uh, start on either end. Maybe I hold it down with your finger for a little bit. Come up about halfway and back, up about halfway and back, and then a little farther and halfway. Then all the way across. Make sure you get those spread ends down good. Now I gotta put my visors on, go back over this because I can't see, man. If the fret ends are down or not. They look like, yeah, they look like they are. I hit it a couple more. Like I say, I'll have to put on my visors and look at it. Now I just left enough fret sticking out on each one of those. And I've got a uh, sanding rig for that too. Let's go ahead and do one more. Just got one more to do. All right. I already put the radius in this. The uh, fret wire. I just want to cut off just enough. Ah, where's the cutters, man? Holy shit. Never fails, does it? When the camera comes on. <laughs> if there's anything going to go wrong, It'll do it then. When you turn that camera on. Now, where does the fret wire go? Here we go. Same thing here again. Take your uh, tang nippers. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll have a set. It's it's much easier if you got a set of tang nippers, man. It really is. Like I say, I've loaned so many tools out. And I can only think of one tool I loaned to a friend of mine. His name's Tom. And he brought it back. The rest of them I never saw anymore. This is very hard right here. All right, well, that's maybe you can hear that on the camera. Almost always that little piece right there. Can you see it? Yeah, I think you can see it. Almost always that flies off in the floor. I think I got to sweep in here after I get done here. But when you turn the camera on, they don't fly off from the floor no more. Isn't that odd? How things like that work. And we're going to do the other side. You just want to, just a, enough of the tang removed. And you want to get all the way up to your fret, too. That's very important. Let me just make sure I'm all the way up and I'll show you. Now it is. Uh, how am I going to show you, man? Can you see that? Come on, camera. I'm all the way up to the fret. That's very important that you do that. If you don't do that, then the thing's going to cut through your binding and look like crap. None of them fall off the floor before I turned the camera on. All of them was. Very much weird. Alright, same thing here again. Leave just enough fret sticking out on both sides. Start up here this time. I just barely did right there. I think that's enough, but man, that's close. And just tap to your little heart. 
heart's content. Tap until that fret is seated against the fretboard. Like I say, I gotta put on fathers. I'll do that in a minute. Looks like the end of that one's still sticking up. And don't be afraid to come clear over on the side. I mean, don't hit it like that. But, you know, you can come over here at a pretty good angle and drive him down. That probably sounds like on the camera that I'm hitting that really hard. I am not. <laughs> and there you go. Let me get my visors and we'll look at it closer. Hold on. All right. Probably going to need a light because my old eyes is very bad. you got to get in close with these. So, uh, you know, it might look like a welder or something. That's all right because you got to get in very close with these to see. And yeah, they look pretty good. This one could stand a few more taps. Man, the light hits the frets. Makes them so shiny it's hard to look at to see what I'm looking for. They look pretty good, man. That one there could use a tap on that side. But you get the idea. I, I'll do that. I won't hold you up for that. I haven't tapped those frets in yet, but I wanted to show you here the next thing. I, I'm going to tap them in first, make sure they're all seated good. And then uh, this block, it's got two files in it, just old mill files, all they are. Very rough. I can adjust the depth of them with these two screws, you know, how deep or how much I want it to stick out. This is a 90 degree angle, this one is. I think this one's a 35 maybe, I'm thinking of 45 maybe. It's either 35 or 45. But what I'll have to do is, I'm going to have to sand these down here. I'm not going to do this on this video either because I want to hammer them down first. But I'll start with that 90 degree angle. It's going to be very rough. Very, very rough to begin with. Do both sides with that. Then I'll turn this thing over and use the, I'm pretty sure that's a 35 degree, and go over it with it. Like I said, I'm not going to do it on this video because I want to hammer those in more first. Make sure they're seated perfectly. And then do that. And then, uh, you know, the rundown after that. Do the, uh, oh God, leveling, recrown, polish and polish and polish and polish and polish. Use fret erasers till you dream about them that night. And get up the next morning and start using them again. <laughs> now, if you don't have one of these hammers and you don't want to pay an arm and leg and right nut and left ankle for, you know, the guys we hate to love, you can uh, go to a jewelry store or a jeweler, somebody that works on jewels, and purchase a jeweler's hammer. You get them way cheaper than what these cost. He's just got, uh, I think that's copper on one end and plastic on the other. Uh, some of the jeweler's hammers are just like that. If you don't have these big monstrous things, if, if all you have is the little fret cutters, uh, you could probably clip that thing with this, but I wouldn't do it, man. they would probably ruin your fret cutters. But, you know, as a last resort, you might be able to clip the thing off with that. I don't know. I'm just saying, if you ruin your <laughs> fret pullers trying it, don't blame me because I never did do it. I'm just saying if that's all I had and needed to clip the tang and didn't have any tang nippers, I probably would do that. All right. Hope that helps you if you go to installing frets. Maybe uh, some pointers on it, some ideas or something anyways. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. I don't know how much of this I'll show on this guitar. I might show, uh, after getting them hammered in more, I might show that uh, thing. This thing. <laughs> And talk about it a little bit more, maybe show you the fret dressing I'm gonna have to do after I get all the frets the way I want them and smooth down. So uh, let me know if you want to see it, put it in the comments, and I'll do it. I'm gonna do it anyway. I can video it if you want to see, if you want to watch, maybe learn something along the way. Thank you for watching, folks. Cheers to you. I hope you're all happy and safe and uh, healthy. Keep it that way if you can. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. And gals. Love the gals too. Woo! Look at him all. Woo!
Ich habe Gedipa. Ich 